what's going on youtube this is bruce with bruce custom motors bringing you guys another official video all right guys in this video i'm going to show you guys what you can do to your automatic to give you full control of your vehicle i'm not talking about the traditional manual mode i'm talking about something totally different so if you guys want to find out exactly what i'm talking about and know how you can do this to your vehicle watch this video from the beginning to the end and you'll find out exactly how As you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to show you guys a cool hack and something you can do to take complete control of your vehicle. All right, so here we go. So first and foremost, I would suggest anyone who has an Audi, a Volkswagen, BMW, any German-based car just in general, to go ahead and buy an OBD-11 or VAG. I've done a video on OBD-11 on why you should get one, and it's right here at the top. But it's just a tool that can give you complete control of your vehicle diagnose your vehicle and let you be one step ahead of your vehicle before you take it in for service and a lot of times it will enable you to where you can fix your vehicle yourself because as we know the new cars are pretty much computers and sometimes it can have a glitch and it just takes the reset of a button it can it ranges from 40 bucks for basic to 100 bucks it's such a good added value to have one so i highly recommend that you guys go out there and get an OBD-11 bag. And no, I'm not sponsored by OBD-11. I'm just gonna be very transparent and honest with you guys on what really, really works. Why I'm mentioning this? Because in order to do this, you will need an OBD-11 device. It comes with a preloaded app that you can download from the App Store from Android or from iOS, which is Apple. And you just pretty much plug it right into your OBD port in order to do this mod along with a lot of other mods i have on my channel as well as a lot of other features that you can do to your vehicle or your car so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the device of your choice need it be an iphone an android phone a tablet an ipad it all works the same in order to launch the app obd11 i'm going to actually use my rs nav and if anyone wants to know about rs nav there's a link right here at the top rs nav is based on the android platform so this is going to be more of the Android app for OBD-11 and not the iOS that I've done in previous videos. So I'm going to go ahead and go right over here to apps. So once I go to apps, I'm going to go ahead and go to OBD-11. Like I said, this would normally be on your phone or your Android or, or your tablet. So I'm going to press OBD-11. So once I press OBD-11, it's just loading up all of my vehicles. As I'm going to connect. So you just want to connect it to your device. So as you can see, though, I have OBD 11.1, OBD 11.2. So I have my OBD 11.2 hooked up to my car right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. All right. Oh, well, it's just connecting right now. So I'm just showing you guys the whole process. So if you guys want to do it, you can know how to do it. So I'm just connecting right now. So as you can see, it picked up my 2012 A5 B8. So once it picks up the car, what you want to do is you want to go over here to these three bars and then you want to go right over here to transmission. OK, so you got your engine, you got your transmission. I'm going to click transmission. So once I go to transmission, I'm going to go right over here to adaptation. OK, so I'm going to go to adaptation. So I'm going to click adaptation. Okay, so once I click adaptation, guys, I'm going to go right over here to automatic upshift. Yes, guys, automatic upshift. So once I click on automatic upshift, guys, it's loading up for me. It says it's active. So as you can see, automatic upshift is active. Once I click on that, it says active and not active. So let me explain what automatic upshift is. So if I decide to put not active, what that means is when I'm switching gears in my vehicle and it's time to go right over here to the red line. Don't mind those lights. My car is off. So 
Don't mind those lights. So normally what would happen is when you're driving your vehicle, even if you're in manual mode or not, when your car reaches a certain RPM based on the power, it's going to automatically um, upshift for you to the next gear um, in your vehicles, just so your RPMs can stay low and it kind of compresses the power in your engine for you. So it automatically upships for you. With it off, what's going to happen is it's, it's like a true manual. Your actual needle is going to go all the way to eight or nine, depending if you have an RS5 or a V8 or nine, or if you have a high RPM, it's going to go all the way and you're going to have to manually upshift yourself. So if I'm in drive, I'm going to have to upshift myself. If I'm utilizing paddle shifters, I'm going to have to upshift myself. And it's going to basically go all the way to the red line. So this is good if you are utilizing your car on the track. This is good if you are trying to get some zero to 60 times and you're trying to get a second. This is good if you're racing on the track. And if you notice, guys, I say track a lot because I solely believe when you're pushing your car to the next level that you're utilizing the track and not the public streets for safety for other people. So um, now I also want to say disclaimer, please, if you do this, don't and you you're doing it for the purpose that you want to do it for. Don't forget to go back and just simply go like as simple as this. You just basically go not active and active. And then once you're done, you just press OK. You just press OK right here. Don't forget to put it back because you can forget and you can realign yourself and you're going to get that uh, 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 and kind of gear thing. So this is just pretty much just to give you guys control to have a true manual. If you are into manuals and you're not into automatics or if you're just trying to get that, those extra seconds, you could be on a drag strip and right before, you know, it's time for you to pass the, the timestamp your car can um, upshift and you could potentially lose the race. So every second counts. I just thought this was a cool little hack to show you guys on what you can do for your vehicle. I don't know if you, anyone ever noticed when you're driving your car, it automatically does it for you in automatic mode. And in addition, when you're in manual mode, it still automatically upshifts for you. So yeah, I just want to show you guys that. And you know, like I said, if you come right over here, you know, that's not the only thing that you can do. You know, you know, you can get the distance data, you know, the route data, you can make it active. So to where to show the distance, you have the steering wheel triptonic switch. So that's gonna all be things that you can just display on here. So yeah, guys, I just want to show you guys this cool little video to show you guys how you can take complete control of your vehicle and treat an automatic like it's a true manual. I hope this video helps. This is a subscriber request. This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Peace, I'm out.